Good morning friends, welcome back. My name is Tiffany and today's video is going to be a quick crock pot or slow cooker meal for you. I've not tried it before, but I'm praying it's yummy. Hi friends, I'm going to be making a crock pot hamburger stew or hamburger soup. Um, so I'm gonna get my ingredients ready. I thought I'd bring you along. I haven't been doing what we eat in a week videos lately or what's for dinner. I just haven't been that creative in the kitchen and so I don't think you need to watch me make grilled cheese and pancakes and like easy peasy stuff. But this is a new to me recipe so I will leave the recipe link down below and I'm gonna go ahead and start um, getting that in the crock pot. It is noon right now so I'll let it cook on low through the afternoon. The hamburger I have already cooked prior to assembling the crock pot. I don't cook raw ground beef in the crock pot, it gets mushy. Um, so I always cook that separate, drain it, season it, and then throw it in. Okie dokie. Um, I will link the recipe like I said, but I'm kind of following it loosely and making a little bit extra. So what I've got here is somewhat different than what the recipe calls for, but the recipe is from the Budget Bites website. Calls for four carrots. I'm gonna, I had two extras, like small ones in the bag, so I'm just gonna do all of them. About two pounds of potato, one yellow onion, garlic, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, um, a can of petite diced tomatoes, and I have a can of sliced stewed tomatoes. Two cans of beef broth. It calls for peas, but one, we don't have peas, and two, my kids don't like peas. So I'm just gonna put a can of corn in there. And then I've got basil and parsley, um, garlic salt, garlic powder, all of that. I'll season as I go once everything is cooked. Um, I might modify that a bit, but I'm gonna get to cleaning the vegetables up. They're washed. I need to peel the carrots. I'm not gonna peel the potatoes, I don't think, um, but I'll bring you along for that. All right, so I've got my ground beef in here. I actually, I'm gonna do the canned goods and stuff just to clear off some of my um, countertop space. So the can of diced stewed tomatoes. I'm just gonna leave the juices right in there. Can of corn I am going to drain. In we go. Then I have three cans I actually need to open with the can opener and that's boring to watch, so I'll be right back. All right, did you miss me? I've got a can of diced tomatoes. Two cans of beef broth. It calls for two cups in the original recipe, but like I said, I'm making extra um, so that we have leftovers for tomorrow. I like to do that when I do a crock pot meal. I like to make enough so that we have leftovers, um, especially soups and stuff, because soups are just really good the next day. All right, there's those. And then, let me see how much, there's my phone. Calls for about two cloves of garlic. I don't really typically measure garlic. I have a brand new jar of minced garlic. So I'm just gonna put in a heaping spoonful. Calls for dried rosemary and dried thyme. I, however, don't have those. So I'm just gonna season with some parsley, a little bit of basil. I do have herbs to Provence, but that's such a strong flavor. I don't know how that would be in like a hamburger or hamburger soup. Calls for two tablespoons of Worcestershire. I really like this as a flavor, so I'm just eyeballing. One, two, that was probably closer to three or four because those are heavy handed. And then one tablespoon of soy sauce. So I'm assuming this is how you get like your salt flavor. And then the Worcestershire kind of brings out that depth. Let's Get those spices mingling, ground beef on the bottom. All right. Now I'm going to prep the veggies, cut them, and get those in here. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though. Wanna hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me.
There's all the veggies in there. I need to get this stirred a bit. And then I'm just gonna put it to um, high heat probably until these veggies start cooking because the carrots and potatoes obviously are a bit hard. But we will check back in with you later for dinner. And dinner is done. The only thing I added was a little bit more Worcestershire sauce because um, I like the flavor of that. But other than that, it's really yummy. It's basically just a beef and, ve but bleh, 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 beef and vegetable soup. For the kids, I poured it over some pasta um, just because I figured they'd like that better. But Will and I just have it in a bowl as is. And we're going to sit down and eat. Thanks so much for watching. Drop a comment, share some love. And until next time, we will see you later. Bye.